and welcome back to the channel folks today we take a closer look at the old world washburn elementary school in duluth minnesota supposedly built in 1905 And quoting Duluth's Grand Old Architecture by Tony Deerkins and Marianne C. Norton, architects Frederick German and Werner Lignell designed a whimsically eclectic building that borrows from several different architectural styles. Its main St. Andrew's Street facade contains two entry doors flanking a central pier over which an ornamental arched dormer protrudes from the roof. The neoclassical doorways contain double doors topped by Roman arch windows and capped with flared triangular pediments. The school's hipped roof originally featured five rounded Flemish gables reminiscent of Jacobean and Scandinavian architecture, each with a circular bullseye window at its center. The two and a half story edifice faced in cream colored brick and topped with a highly decorative cupola originally contained five classrooms on the first floor and three classrooms on office and assembly hall on the second. Now this brings us to the man named Jed L. Washburn. He was supposedly born in 1856 in Indiana, then moved as an infant to Mankato, Minnesota in 1857. He became a lawyer in Mankato from 1880 to 1890. In 1890, he moved to Duluth and set up a successful law firm. He then became president of the State Bar Association and president of a bank. And then he started his own bank and was president of that bank. And he was on the Board of Education and a member of the State Normal School. He donated the land for both the Normal School dormitories and Washburn Elementary School. He also had one of the largest libraries in the state and was an active member of the Minnesota Historical Society for 30 years. And here's where things got a little interesting. According to the October 28, 1905 Duluth News Tribune article, Washburn donated the Duluth Normal School site, provided the school with equipment for its manual training department, and spent a great deal of time overseeing the building's construction. The Duluth Public School, Washburn Elementary, was also named after him. And also reported on the exact same day, October 28, 1905, in a different newspaper, the Duluth Herald. It reports, celebrate at school. The Hunters Park residents to give entertaining program will formally open new institute of learning there. Although Washburn School in Hunters Park has been occupied ever since the term opened, the people of that pretty suburb have not formally opened the new structure and will not until this evening when an appropriate program will be given and the good folk will celebrate. J.L. Washburn of the Board of Education will deliver an address of a congratulatory nature on behalf of that body. So two newspapers on the same day in a small city seem to be reporting from a different day or even different year. So on the same day, it's reported that Jed L. Washburn simultaneously yet separately announced that he'd be donating the land near the new state normal school for dormitories and then donated more to fund the construction of Washburn Hall, which was also built less than 11 months from this date. And on the exact day, the other major newspaper was reporting on how Washburn was attending a grand opening ceremony. The elementary school named to honor him since he had also donated this land for this school to be built upon. How much land and money did this guy have to give away? This is a pretty substantial and detailed build for only a few months build time. Did the first row of windows come pre-buried? I can't imagine that putting 10 dormers on this building would take uh, any time at all.
And this is Old Main Park. This is the birthplace of this channel, Arches and Columns. The logo is one of these freestanding Old Main Arches. What a concept, a state normal school to teach the first generation of public school teachers what was to be considered normal. Very strange, especially the language used. Everywhere had one, and they all became state universities in the following decades. Supposedly the Washburns lived nearby the Washburn Elementary School. They donated the land the school sat upon, once a pasture for their pony. I guess they were so wealthy they just had a singular pony. For leisure, I suppose. And notice how far apart both of these properties are that he had donated. He must have had a lot of land. And just look at all the water staining on the brick. Sure looks older than 15 years in this photo, doesn't it? But seriously, folks, what a beautiful structure this is. Unfortunately, I could not find any construction dates, just conflicting information the deeper that I dug. The story sounds impractical, to say the least. I mean, how much time, land, and money did this amazingly honest, super successful corporate attorney slash banker slash school board member slash state normal school board member slash philanthropist have? And keep in mind, folks, that this is 1905. Well, what do you think, folks? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.